In this Bubble tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate a QR code in a Bubble app. I have a, a little address book here. Uh, it could be the starts of like a CRM SaaS app that I'm building with Bubble. And um, I would like to be able to scan the QR code and uh, be taken to the uh, page for each of my contacts. So uh, I need to give each of my contacts a QR code. If I go into my database, uh, and then onto contacts. Uh, I have uh, all of these fields here. Uh, so I need to start by adding a uh, QR image because uh, the plugin that I'll be using will generate a QR code and I want to save that as an image. Um, there we go. Okay. And uh, then let's grab the plugin. So I'm going to use a QR code uh, generator, barcode and QR code generator, uh, this plugin here. There are a number of QR code generators in the Bubble plugin store. Uh, I'm just picking this one because it's free uh, and it seems to work um, well enough. Uh, so how do I generate a QR code for each of my users? Well, I'm going to add a image field first so I can display it. Um, and this tutorial is just covering the generation side. Um, I'll do a follow-up tutorial showing how to scan a QR code within the Bubble app. Um, but let's just make this big enough that it's clear. Okay. Uh, and then the dynamic image is coming from the parent group's contact. This is a repeating group of my contacts and then a QR code image. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to add the button in and label this uh, generate QR code in bubble. Let's make that a bit wider. Okay, so to as such is the case with a lot of bubble plugins, uh, you have to add an element to the page in order uh, for the right resources to be loaded in. Uh, so I'm going to add in the uh, QR code generator. Now there are two here. Let's just have a look at the plugin. So um, I've got QR code generator has finished uh, manual QR code. I'm just going to go with manual because that's the one that I've used before. Um, maybe if, uh, if you're the plugin developer, you could press comment uh, just saying what the difference is. Um, so actually, I'm not going to add it in my repeating group. I'm just going to add it to my page because it's something that I'm going to put data into um, and then take data out of. Uh, so when I click this button, uh, I'm going to go to plugins or elements, uh, generate a QR code. Here we go. And the data. So one piece of data you could use is the unique ID within Bubble. Um, however, that's uh, and, and that would be useful if the Bubble app, um, the QR code, uh, is able to scan through your database, match it to a record, and then take the user there. But if you want a link to the record, um, then uh, I would need to pass some data into that. Um, and to do that, I actually, in fact, I do need to have that in my um, repeating group in order to refer to that data. There we go. Let's just see if this will work for us. Uh, data. Uh, yes, current groups contact. And then this is a little kind of sneaky tip. Uh, you know, very useful once you know it, but using the link function here. Um, and then uh, it's saying send to page. That's because I don't have a page set up uh, to display my contacts. Let me just do that quickly on here uh, because the bubble wants to be able to pair the database information with a page uh, to show the contact um, so that should fix it um, where's the page I was working on uh, list list of users here we go um, so generate Okay, that net now accepts it because the link is accompanied with a page to display that data. Um, so it's going to generate it, and I now need to save it into uh, my contact. Okay, and I'm going to circle right back to this in 30 seconds because this is unlikely to work reliably, and I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, QR code, um, and I. 
sometimes with a plugin you can refer back to the step, but uh, slightly unusually for this one, perhaps because it takes a little bit of extra time to, to generate the QR code, uh, I actually have to refer to the element on the page. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, let's test it. So if I click this button and it worked, we should see the QR code. Uh, okay, and it's thrown an error. Uh, I don't know why that is. Let's try and debug it. Um, it might be because I've got, oh, I think, I, let's just delete those. They were from a recording a different video uh, and have likely confused things. Uh, so manual QR code generator contact, yep. Okay, uh, still facing an issue. Uh, let's just see if it's the data we're passing into it. Let's change this to, um, all right, that, change this to unique ID. Okay, it accepts it as a unique ID. Let's go with that uh, for now in order to keep this uh, brief. But you'll see that it hasn't generated the QR code, or at least it's not displaying it. So, um, and I deliberately keep this kind of troubleshooting process in these videos because there are all sorts of, uh, you know, different ways you can stray off the true path to get your app working. Um, so I think it's helpful to leave them in. Um, so I clicked on uh, Tony Stark, and uh, if I go to Tony Stark, we can see that uh, the QR code is empty still. So what's happened here? Well, it's because the plugin takes a little moment of time um, to actually generate the QR code. And when you run a workflow in Bubble, um, Bubble optimizes the workflow, and it doesn't wait unnecessarily and it doesn't always um, run the work through workflow in a linear manner um, when you refer to an earlier step like you can with some plugins that would generate content uh, like an API call uh, it will wait until that steps completed but because we're referring to an element on the page it doesn't wait so one way of fixing this would be um, to add a pause and let's try that Okay, and there you see it's generated the QR code successfully. Um, and it's a less than ideal approach. Uh, if we look at the plugin documentation, um, we can see that the developer has put in uh, an event when plugin, uh, when it has finished. Um, so that, that's another way to manage it. But uh, as like a quick fix to get it working, uh, I went through this with one of our um, members in a coaching session earlier on in the week. Adding in the pause, uh, it's not something that I like to do. It doesn't feel like, like a wholesome fix, but like you've just seen, it's worked. Um, and let's just try another one so that we can see that they are at least different. Uh, yes, those are different QR codes. So there you have it. That is how to generate QR codes with Bubble and add in QR code generation into your Bubble app.